Welcome with us folks tonight we focus on the exit strategy. Getting in is the easy part. Getting out is not that easy and knowing ahead where we want to get out is probably going to make the whole thing a lot easier. So uh, this morning we were looking at MU yesterday we had a down day on the market. However, semiconductors were pretty strong and MU was one of them staying strong. However, pre-market activity was to the downside. And let's replay this a little bit. And this is this is the um, pre-market, right? And we're coming down to a line that is this low. See this blue arrow? This is the low of the pre-market. So basically look at this time. It's almost nine o'clock. We are prepping our day and this is what's happening. So I'm. Um, this is pretty much what I usually do. This is at the open. I draw a line, see this blue line? This blue line is all about the low of the pre-market. So when we, when we opened, if we were to bounce on this line and start rising, well, we know we're on bullish side. However, no, we are opening and see this big green, uh, red candle right at the open is telling you, oh no, everyone that was bearish at the pre-market, well, whatever support we had, we now have lost it. So we're down to below it. And my idea was to go long, to go calls on it. So as soon as we drop below that line, I'm not even interested. So let's keep going to see what's happening. And this is what happened this morning. And the, the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you something. Now, see how it's moving back up? See how it's moving back up towards our line? We are still under where the buyers were at pre-market. So there's no interest in going long yet. Look at this here. This candle is touching the line, that blue line, which was the old support from pre-market. And look at that. Now it's getting very interesting. See, we're about to get above it. It's getting rejected. But as soon as we cross over the other side, we are attempting to be on the buyer's side. So the blue line, we step on the upper side of that, we are entering the buyer's side. So normally if we cross that, we enter calls, or it could be a good idea to enter calls um, to go long. However, market was kind of hiffy. Um, we were not so sure. We, yesterday we had a very big down day, so we, everyone's kind of walking on eggs. So I decided to wait. See what happened? The next candle, it rejected that blue line pretty much, um, well, worth quite some accuracy. So I'm still waiting for proper entry because I am more on the more, I, I prefer to trade the bullish side. So let's keep going here. Oh, we even lost that low, the intraday low, right? Now, this is approaching the area where we entered and I'll show you a little tip um, about what I was looking at right just give me a second here this is where I'm transferring you to we are now at the Tesla chart and look at Tesla this is the one hour chart however this is what I have done look at this bottom here right same bottom here so we got a double bottom. So we know Tesla bounced twice on this line. Chances are we're going to bounce again as soon as we reach that line. So I had an alert set for this line on Tesla. And as soon as it dipped or crossed the line, the alert went off. Why Tesla? Um, because everything else I was looking at was not as precise as Tesla for a support line. Tesla was going down with the rest of the market and Tesla being quite a big weight in the S&P 500. I was like, this is a very precise line where it will probably bounce, which it did. Um, 
after the um, after the drop. So as soon as Tesla hit that line, I was pretty sure that the rest of the market would probably do the same thing. So let's go back to the um, MU chart. So I said the idea was to know when to exit. However, the obviously I need I need to show you where I entered in the first place. So we were talking about the Tesla um, alerting the downside. Uh, it was 1024, I believe. So it was just about close to here. And this is when I decided to get in. Now, obviously, this was looking very bullish for a second. The yellow line that we have that you see in the chart is the TEMA on the 30 length charts on the five minute. And right now it looks like we're anticipating but it looks like we're going to go um, upwards from here so I was pretty confident now we're going back down however we're holding it's dipping a hair below and now it's holding see this candle is showing you that we're just about to hold and yes it's holding very well so at this point we're higher than the entry point we keep telling you um, don't always focus on the premium price. You can focus on the chart itself. So if it went, now it went, it just looks like it's holding, it's going sideways kind of thing. And now it looks like it's going to pop, right? Now we're above the TEMA, um, the yellow line. From here, the target is what? Target is that 83.40 the blue line, which was the low of the pre-market activity. When we reach that, obviously we will get in trouble because everyone at that point was ready to buy. However, uh, they were not selling. So basically it's a line in the sand that says, here are the keys for the bull side and vice versa when it turns around. So. Let's let's take it upwards from where we um, entered, and if if you guys want to see what happened, well, it's moving. We're above the Tima, that yellow line, right now. It's moving upwards, and it's moving towards our, our, and that's it. There, you're at the line. When you're looking at this chart, it looks like it's going to go to the moon. It's going to cross. It's going to 85. No. The plan is to trade to 83.40. And this is what you have right in front of you. You need to take it. We exited right there on the line as planned. What happened afterwards doesn't matter. I can show you, but it doesn't matter. We exited right there and boom. It got rejected. And the rest of the day we traded underneath it and now we're under see the yellow line we're under the yellow line now so this trade ended up being profitable it ended up being something that um i believe uh, the um exit was called let me review here um we had the sorry if it's i'm scrolling down um, the MU play was for 45, 54%. So entering at 1024, exiting at uh, 83, 40. We uh, took the 82 calls for this week. But the idea is to show you that we can stick to the plan and it works to the T. Um, Now the Netflix play, identifying the exit was a little different. I mean, the strategy was different because now you can see there was a an intraday double bottom. Uh, I don't really like to play like late in the day double bottoms, but in this particular case, I was kind of bullish for the end of the day and spy, and I thought we had a possibility to at least reach the top there. Now see all these blue arrows. Um, it's and it's the blue line again, just as we as we did on MU. 
Blue line is what I see as a strong resistance. Look at the previous day on that blue arrow on the left, and then we shift to uh, the intraday where there was, you know, the morning uh, activity, and then it stopped on the first arrow, uh, it comes down, it tries to cross the blue arrow, but it doesn't. It gets sell, it gets a sell off on that second blue arrow here and then it moves down to the red line red line is the double bottom with uh what we see um intraday and let's move from here and i'll see i'll show you what i was looking at now this is becoming bullish because it's above the tema um however what we want is well you know i was i'm not a super big fan of uh trading intraday um late in the day like that like it just said however that one looked really interesting why because paying somewhere around three low threes um i believe we could go at least to mid fours so there was a good potential for that and you know taking something that has uh i don't know it was 40 percent for a small scalp with a very precise target was something that was appealing to me so again yellow line is the tema on the five minute and this is where it became very interesting it was holding the line and we decided to enter at that point it was dipping very very close to it and then it started moving to the upside right very close to that line um it rejected it we could have sold right there for a candle and a half kind of thing that after getting in um however this is exactly what happened at the close um, it, it touched our line again however we managed to sell on that line precisely for um a good profit so like I just um, like I just showed you when you have let make us let me take a screenshot of this here oh, hold on here was the entry we're coming to the um, Tima and I was under the impression that we were going to go bullish for the remaining of the afternoon. And bouncing on Tima, we were just shy of that blue line that I had already in my chart. And then, then we touched it. And this is where the exit was. So from here to there is not much, right? Um, I believe here was uh, very just a hair under 6, 616. And here is just under 620. I mean, it's 619 and 17. So from this to that, taking the 620 calls ended up being a 42% um, play. So just to show you that knowing in advance where your target is going to be is what we are really looking after. So... I hope you guys are learning a little bit from this um, from this video. The idea, like I said, is the target strategies or exit strategies on target is all part of the plan. Sometimes it looks beautiful, looks ready to go. However, sticking to the plan is always the best strategy. Hope you um, enjoyed you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you again soon, folks. Thank you.